Now coming to you from our New York City broadcast center, we have Patrick Dunn of Watershed Electric on the line. Mr. Dunn, what do we know at this moment? All we know so far is that this was not an accident. If it's not an accident, then it must be intentional. Both us and the Japanese have been hit by this thing. I think it's pretty obvious who's responsible. Here's a Tomo. It appears we have something in common, Admiral. Our analysis of the information of footprint shows that the pressures which collapsed our power grids appear in many ways similar to those that collapsed our markets. I am certain the Koreans and the Chinese are involved. Let's not jump the gun here, Admiral. We've had our microscope on a man named Zerkezi. He had access to weaponized IW Algos following that business in Georgia. He was also a major DOE consultant after the blackouts here in 2003. Yes, we are aware of this connection. Has Zerkezi been found? Not yet, but it won't take long. I'll keep you posted. Fisher. I'm afraid we might be facing an orchestrated attempt to push the world into a major crisis. Zerkezi might know more about information warfare than anyone on Earth, and the fact that this place is combat-ready, essentially stateless and better equipped than most governments, we need to find out fast whether this is a coincidence or whether someone inside this place is making a major move. That said, State Department has several very significant contracts with this place. This thing is extremely political. I hate to do this to you, but keep it clean. Recon only, no fatalities. This place's offices are on the top three floors of the Hans Center Tower in downtown Manhattan. Recent financials indicate that they have invested heavily in their local infrastructure in order to maintain full operational capacity following even a major terrorist incident. Satellite confirms Grimm's data. This place is up and running at near to full capacity. It looks like they might be holding a meeting with members of New York City Council possibly making a bid for protection or policing services to supplement the National Guard. They're prepared and opportunistic, that's for sure. But I wouldn't expect anything different. My money says they're playing fair, but if the boss wants to take a closer look, then that's what we'll do. Fisher, we need to find out if Displace and Zerkezi are working together. But until we know, you want me to keep it quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with this place all around the world. The president will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. The air is getting stale inside. What the hell do I care what Marco said? I don't even know him. I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> Go ahead. Boy, are you in trouble. Whatever. going on with the lights here? closed earlier?
you're certainly entitled to request protection at that level from the National Guard, I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? Uh, don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid. Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I put a program on your OPSAT that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice. Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do. Let me just get these windows before we go. Aw, oh, man, I love that. We have to get some of those at City Hall. Email me and remind me. I'll set you up with a good deal. Whoa. That was weird. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's called an electrochromic window. A small electric charge can change the opacity of microscopic crystals embedded in the glass. Cool. I'm thinking that your OCP should be able to toggle the state of the windows. I'm uploading the specification to your OPSAT. Thanks, Will. So, what did you want to show me? In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper construction. What, like engineering, financing, real estate? Machines, concrete, decoration, elevators. Elevators like this one here. Huh. Okay, Julian, what's your point? My point is that every single day, five million New York executives ride elevators. Elevators that they can't do their jobs without. So... Well... You're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the stairs up 70 stories. And does anyone ever question how much an elevator costs? Of course not. Right. And I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an elevator isn't measured by what you get. It's measured by what you want. This place is expensive, there's no denying that. But it's not important how much it costs to hire us. What's important is how much it costs not to hire us. A bunch of good old boys in the Appalachians with m and at the street corner, and sure, it'll get the job done. But in the end, relying on the National Guard is like taking the stairs. If you want to keep those five million executives going to work every day, you'll take a look at the lobby and make sure those guys are huh. Well, you maybe got a point there, Julian. Of course I have a point. Let's go talk to Mike.
work, Sam. Upload that program to the last server and you'll make me the happiest girl in the world. You're easy to please. Access is a girl's best friend. It's a pretty cushy posting, that's for sure. But I heard the guy was really annoying. The guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah, emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it. There's got to be a way through to the server room from this area. Firing ranges usually have ventilation to clear the smoke. It probably ties into the AC system for the server room. Good thinking. You got any plans for the long weekend? Jesus, 4th of July coming up. I forgot. You forgot? How could you forget? Ah, you know, been putting in crazy hours. Don't even know what day it is. Yeah, I know what you mean. Me and Anne Marie are gonna head up to Maine, stay in a little bed and breakfast, and eat some lobster. Do they have power back in Maine yet? Power? Whoa, forgot about that. Yeah, how could you forget? Thanks, Sam. That's the last one. I can't wait to sniff around in this place with laundry basket. Uh... What? Laundry. I totally forgot. we need off the server. Login name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. 
I see it, Grim. You got company. Whatever. You might want to... I see it. Right. Want to check the server and make sure nothing got fried when the power came back on. Okay. Give a shout if you need anything. Will do. Wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. They found him the next morning, covered in blood. What? Yeah. Stan thinks he killed someone. Read a newspaper article the next day. Istanbul police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar they were at. Whoa. I think we should try and get on his PC in the executive offices. See if we can find anything. The code to the area is 2346, but I don't know the code for his actual office. Need to put some extra right. men on the Zerkazy detail. Your name came. Zerkazy? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milos Nowak is, uh... Who? Milon. Milon Nedic. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkazy is out of town, so there won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay, got it. Good. You report at 1300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Good grab, Fisher. Mylon Nedic's real name? Jesus. Milos Nowak. Milos Nowak? Who is he? The barber of Bosnia. Suspected war criminal from the Bosnian conflict. Allegedly scalped some of his prisoners. Wanted in The Hague? Yeah. Bet you dollars the dinars that he doesn't make it to trial. That's okay. I think my money's safer on the Nikkei. Isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah. Looks like Mylon Nedic has secretly relocated Zerkazy there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. Will its State Department handle that mess? You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. <laughs> 